We've been very blessed and very lucky with crazy. We've been very blessed with crazy volatility, crazy volume in the markets. You know, you know it won't last forever. So I call it feast or famine. When you trade, when things are well, you're feasting. And then during the summer, when it's slow or whatever the period may be, it's famine. And as a trader, or as a human being working at a job, feast or famine means this. During times of bountiful harvest, right? You should save some of that money. Save some of the food that you harvested. Because you know what, man? Not every day you're going to be eating steaks and lobster and wagyu. Some days are just crackers. <laughs> some days you don't even eat. So as a day trader, you know... You basically have to kill, it's like, I call it, I, I compare it to like a caveman days, right? Uh, caveman days, there, there is no Costco where you can come in and start buying meat and beef and all that. You basically have to go hunt for your food. You have to hunt. And so days that you don't kill anything or, or harvest any vegetables, you're going to starve. So you need to start saving up. And so that's exactly what it is. So right now during the quarantine, we're very blessed as the traders. You have such awesome volume. And now reality may have hit. <coughs> and unless we get a second wave of Corona or something like that, it may slow down. So that's when you start to learn. And this is a perfect time, guys. So there's actually, there's always a perfect time to learn. When things are good, you learn so that you can profit. When things are slow, you learn so that when things get good again, you can profit. So... You know, it's it's kind of bad and good that the markets have slowed. It's good because, dude, we're tired, man. Sometimes we need a break. We've been running like like a thousand miles per hour every day, right? So you, sometimes you just need to break, and you need to you know relax. And then it's bad because you know what, dude? I, I I want that craziness. I want to be able to wake up and you know bank, 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 whatever the hell it is, right? But when things are crazy, you also lose. People always think like, all my friends are like, oh, you're always making money. You're always making money. I was like, dude, you know, I do not make money every fucking day. I, I get my ass beat all the time, right? And so I just, but they don't see me affected by that because that, that's the secret, guys. The secret is, you know what, man? I posted a ton of stuff free marketing on my Twitter. Go check out my Twitter. It's basically all about risk management and losing. A lot of people, the first thing you they teach you when you learn jujitsu or martial arts is how to properly fall you don't start with just punching and kicking and throwing you need to learn how to fall and be able to take a punch like boxing right defense defense so the whole thing about today i woke up today felt the market kind of slow so wanted to share a bunch of stuff on twitter about properly taking a loss it's it's okay to take the loss guys it's okay to take a small manageable loss people don't like it People think it's, you know, you're losing, but you're not really losing. You, it's part of the game. Part of the game is to fucking take a small, manageable loss. Each and every day I take a small, manageable loss. But at the end of the day, hopefully I'm, I win more than I lose. And that's, that's bottom line. And you create a process around that. But I want to talk about mindset today. Because, man, I, I woke up and I, I, I was up a couple thousand bucks, you know. Just messing around. When I say messing around, I mean just kind of like doing my process, but not much size because it, it because it never got to. There's really nothing good to size up on. So like S F E T. If you had chased that thing down, it would have went. It would have just killed you. All these stocks are kind of like, and the ones I thought would bounce never bounced. It kept on going lower. And so what do you do? Do you chase the next time? So a lot of people, what they do is they. You know, they have a process and the process doesn't work for one time. And they all of a sudden, they change their process. They're like, oh shit, I'm not going to wait for the lines anymore. Because this stock always goes down. I should just slam it right at the open. Short it, bam. You know, <laughs> what's going to happen next time? The next time it's going to go back up. You know? And so what you need to do is don't, don't worry about the one-off day. Worry about, you know, like the whole strategy itself across multiple days I, I yeah I place 
fancy orders all over and it hits it hits and that's how i trade sometimes but i focus on the main ones and today like f fun phun i was so pissed man i was all over the offer never hit me once alt never hit me once but then i got some nice ones i waited around waited around and sfet went up there i posted some charts up there mrsn things like that but at the end of the day i still felt like not enough I was like, shit, man, I didn't make enough. But you know, it's never enough. That's the problem. This is where the tap comes in. And so this is what I want to talk about, guys, because this is very important. Because I've been getting a lot of messages from people kind of like breaking the rules and blowing up. They would have 20 days of consecutive green or a nice streak or whatever it may be, right? And then they're like, Val, I fucked up. I, I broke the rule one time and I blew up. And, you know, I hear that all the time because that happens to me. And, I, and, that, and that's what I keep trying to tell you guys. The hardest hurdle to overcome as a day trader is not making money, man. You know, people can make money. It's not losing. When you lose, it's not to lose your entire account. Because when you make money, you're not holding the entire position to the very top or bottom and making your money. You're scaling in, scaling out. You're taking the average. You're basically trading the trend, trading the meat, taking the meat of the move. But when you lose, <laughs> what happens? You hold that fucker. You hold that stock forever until you hit max pain, until your account goes bankrupt, until you hit a max loss. You cancel the stop loss. You you call your broker up to, to say, give me more buying power. Turn, turn the machines back on. You whip out another account. You play excuses in your head like, oh, I'm going to get paid Friday. It's okay. I, I can lose this. I'm, I'm going to make more money and, re and refund my account. I'm going to put back more money in the account. So basically what you do is you're, you're, you just go crazy. And it happens. It happens to me. It happened to me many times. You know, and, and after a certain while, you feel like shit. You're like, you know what, man? This is happening all the time. And so that's why I keep telling about the tap. The tap is sometimes the only way to combat emotional errors. Because all of these are not technical errors. These are all emotional, personal, I'm stupid type of error. That only you can help yourself. When these guys come to me and ask me, how do I stop myself from being greedy? What do you want me to say? You're fucking greedy, motherfucker. <laughs> stop doing it, right? But they won't listen to me. So this is why we created the tap. And so today... I felt myself getting greedy, guys. So Al was like, what the fuck are you doing? So I have a very good tab where we're very honest with one another. And it's okay to show my tiny, my tiny penis size sometimes, right? It's like, shit, I only made a dollar. It's okay. You don't need to fucking be swinging every fucking day in giant positions, right? And so you have to be honest with uh, your tab. And if you're not honest with your tab, no one's going to help you. And so today he's like, boo, what the fuck are you doing? So you're, you're right. It's like a few... A couple thousand dollars more that's going to fucking change my life. But if I fucking lost, it will fucking may maybe mentally cripple me for the next day. It's called mental capital. And trading is a funny thing, man. You could be trading successfully for a decade, but have a couple of bad losses, and you're done. You're done mentally. You doubt yourself. And so a lot of professional athletes go through this. They forget how to shoot a basketball. And they go through a big slump. They, they strike out baseball. So that's why sports psychiatry is such a big business. Because a lot of these things are mental. Like golf swing. When you doubt your golf swing, you start fucking up. Like Tiger Woods or whoever after his scandal. So you have to be mentally prepared, mentally tough. And so sometimes it's not worth it making more money. Making more money, but at what expense? At what risk? So just, you know what, man? Do what I do. Just leave the fucking computer. And this is why I, I called this Instagram Live so that we can walk and talk about it, right? Because right now everyone's sitting there, dude, I, I need to make more money. And then you turn on the computer, you see some guy making a big P&L. He's supposed to be the big P&L. And then you're like, oh, I'm smarter than him and all this stuff. And then it gets into this big crazy thing. And so the first thing you need to do is master your ego. You have to master your ego, guys. And I talk about this a lot because I, I am I am the everyday man. I am like just like you guys. I'm full of freaking flaws. I drink too much. I curse too much. You know, I'm lazy. 
I'm aggressive, whatever. I'm, I'm just an extreme of everything, you know? And I'm not a perfect guy, basically. So at the end of the day, you don't need to be perfect to make money, guys. That, and that and That's what you need to see. When you look at me, you, you, you see the good qualities, I see the bad qualities. You, you have no idea. The guy that's been hung over for three straight days, you know, the weekend, I don't know what day of the week it is sometimes, but when I show up to work, I show up to work. But then, you know, like days like today where it's so slow and I, I, I have FOMO because I miss a bunch of trades, ALT, F, fun, things like that. So I was like, it's not, it's not me not making money. It's just me being arrogant to think that, how can I miss this shit? And then it, it's more, it's not, it's, when it comes down to this guys, usually when you blow up and all this, it's not about the money. It's never about the money. It's like, what, what's a couple thousand dollars to you? Take the fucking loss. And what's a couple hundred dollars to you? Take a couple of loss. It's about the ego. It's about, fuck, I don't want to be wrong. I'll look stupid. You know, I can't be wrong. And then next thing you know, you're in too deep. And then when you're in too deep, you, you just wish, you just wish you had just fucking walked away. You wish you just didn't wake up. You wish there was a power outage, you know, and, and your alarm clock didn't go off. Things like that. And so the only way to combat it, I'm telling you right now, guys, is hey, get a tap. Get a tap. So I have one, one friend. He's been trading a long time. And he does the same thing I used to do all the time. He'd be up a bunch of, and then he'd blow up on a one trade. And so now I advised him, and he did a great thing, man. I'm very proud of him. He, he had a tab. He finally got a tab. He finally got a tab. But getting a tab doesn't really help if you lie to your tab. So what he did was he gave over the account to the tab. So the tab is actually looking at his account, too. So see if he's doing stupid shit. It's like, it's like when you commit so many crimes, you are now on parole. That's what you have to look at your trading you have to look at your trading like a parole. So sometimes your tab is your parole officer. That's that's the only way. If you really want to make this work, guys, humble the fuck down. Get a tab who's now your parole officer. Give him your account if you have to. So we can check on that. You know? The parole officer say, hey, you have to check in with me. Show me your show me proof. Because I don't trust you anymore. You're a criminal. You're a, you are a felon trader. You always say you're not gonna fucking break the rule. You always say you're not gonna short during the zombie hour, but then you do that one time and you blow up. How can I help you? So the only way to help you is sometimes you have to put yourself in prison. Trading prison, guys. Okay, show proof. So I'm very admiring this guy. He said he gave over his account to the tab. The tab will look at his account to see if he's doing stupid shit. Sometimes you have to do it. You have to trust the system. You have to trust the war, whoever your tab is. And if you do not trust your tab, I don't know what to say, right? But if you really want to make this work, you have to ask yourself, do you really want it? If you don't really don't want it, then there's nothing that I can help you with. But if you really want to do this shit, you're going to have to make changes. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, right, guys? You have to do something different. So I'm very proud of whoever it is. I'm not going to say the names, but dude... That's fucking awesome, and this is gonna help you. I never thought I was gonna use hard stops. I'm like, dude, I don't need hard stops. I don't wanna get stopped out of the top. But I started using that, I'm starting to stop out better now. So even an old dog like me can start doing it. And you know how I did it? Slowly over time, guys. One trade at a time. Habits are hard to break, but you have to start somewhere. You know, I told my friend the other day, he's like, you know, it's like, if, if, you're, if your wife, if you're supposed to go home at 10 p.m. every day and then your wife don't check up on you, you're not going to go home at 10 p.m. Your wife, knowing that your wife is going to check up on you makes you go home. And if you don't want to go home, don't get a wife or just, you know what I'm saying? It's, how badly do you want it? Because if you really want it badly, you're going to have to change yourself and no one's going to be able to change yourself except yourself, right? So, and that's what a community is, man. When I'm in MIC, people are looking at me. If Bow's making a fucking trade and breaking the rule and, and adding a loser and revenge trading and blowing up his account, how does that look? So, there's a lot of, lot of reasons that make you be a good citizen. A lot of these people, the only reason they don't steal or kill someone because they, they're scared to go to jail. Imagine there's no law. So sometimes you need that law because you cannot trust yourself. And so dude, that's why I went to the wall. Make this a routine, guys. Go work out. Go work out with your tab. Talk to your tab. 
And I, I, I guarantee you, it will help your trading. Because all of the successful new traders that are in MIC have very solid bonds with their tab. All the successful ones, Faye and Vic, their tab, they talk, they joke around. You have to be that environment. And that's why I'm very honest with the guys at MIC. They, they see me type, I show them my flaws. Because that's, that's the way it is. I, in essence, MIC is my tab. The entire MIC is looking at me. They're my tab. <laughs> and knock on wood, I've been very much better. You know, no one's perfect. You, I'm going to still want to do stupid stuff, but it's not as bad as before. So that's what, you know, that's what you got to do. So that's why I'm walking with you guys. So that's the first step, guys. First step is to control your emotions. For some, it's easy. For others, it's the hardest thing in the world. And for, for some, the strategies are easy. It's easy to make money. It's so easy to make money for me. Knock on wood, I'm gonna fix it, but it's hard for me to control my emotions when I'm bored. I make money pretty much knock on wood every day. Then I bleed because I'm bored. I'm sitting there bored. And that's how I lose. I don't lose because of technical reasons. I lose because I'm bored. Whereas other people, they're struggling with the strategies, with the technical. But they are very disciplined individuals. So people are different. So sometimes you maybe get into a tab situation with someone that's like the, the uh, kind of like the opposite of you. So when you match tabs, guys, so this is how relationships for me kind of work. It's like I don't want to be with myself. I want to be with someone that's complementary to myself. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, right? The same pieces don't fit. So you have to find pieces that fit. So it's not exactly opposites, it's complementary. And so find a tab that's very disciplined. Like Alex is so fucking disciplined. He is so fucking disciplined. So that helps me out. And so, you know, the, the easiest thing we can teach, seriously, is the strategies in which we have already. So uh, I don't want to talk about that too much, but today is going to be a good day because it's Tosh's new, new member webinar at 2 p.m., guys. Tosh has a... New member webinar is open to the completely public. So all you guys are watching right now, this is your treat. We're going we're gonna to peek inside and then we're going to talk about this new accelerator uh, course, Jumpstart Accelerator. We're going to talk more in detail about that. It's actually launched now. We, I didn't, we didn't post the, the link yet. We, we're probably going to post the link during the webinar. So, so let's do that. Let's post the link during the webinar. What do you think, Alex? We'll post the link during the webinar. So talk about post a link and then maybe give out some surprises but um and i want to touch upon that one one time i, I don't really want to talk about trolls and shit much but you know there, i got a couple of, <laughs> it's weird man i got i got guys like that joined a year ago screaming at me there's a monthly member like why are you fucking doing this you are a scammer i'm like yo you joined for a month one year ago you're upset <laughs> you know we can't help everybody so one thing i've been better at is real because i my flaw is trying to please everybody and that's what happened a long time ago i try to please everybody and i end up not pleasing anybody and so so the, the end of the day is this guys the only topic i want to touch upon that is if you don't like us don't join don't 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 you know hating on someone else this was my mistake back then too. Sometimes I, I'd be a very arrogant prick and think I'm the best. And that was my flaw. And everybody learns and changes in life, right? You know? And sometimes you have to let people change. And I've changed. You know, I think I've done things better. You know, not everybody's perfect. So, you know, I've been much better about, you know, not being an arrogant prick. You know, there I said it, right? But, you know, at the end of the day, you know yourself, guys. You know if, you are doing a good thing or not. And so be honest with yourself when it comes to trading. The moment that you are honest with yourself, your trading becomes so much better. I'm telling you this right now. You know, the moment I realize sometimes I am an arrogant prick. And so now like, holy shit, I'm going to start using heart stops. You know, it's just stupid stuff like that. So you have to be very into knowing the negative side of yourself and knowing the positive side of yourself. Some people are too negative upon themselves. And so when you're too negative, you're always scared that you're never gonna become successful. Or when you're too arrogant thinking I'm the best, you'll never become successful like that. So somewhere in the balance, right? So know what you're good at, 
when you're bad at it. And that's where the tab comes in. I'm telling you, the tab program is a great way to make friends that you would never normally make. When we started MIC, we talked about MIC being the country club for the everyday man. How often can you meet a guy that's making millions of dollars a year next to a guy that's a student, next to a guy that's over in Asia or South America? We meet people around the world, mechanics, uh, lawyers, doctors, you name it. And so by learning from each other is how we become better. And I think I've been, I've been much better trader than I was. You know, I'm, money is not everything, guys. P&L does not mean everything. It's how you make the money. I keep talking about that, you know. And so what is really better? Better does not mean more money sometimes. Better could mean this. And this is what I like. Before, I was glued to the screens 24 hours a day. I had overnight positions. Sure, I was making a shitload of money. But I was a nervous wreck. I did never enjoy life. If, life, if I just died, it would be for nothing. I missed so many personal events. Friends, weddings. I, you know, I had a son. I missed his fucking birth. I was trading when he was born. <laughs> I brought a laptop and I traded. Just stupid shit like that. Missed birthdays because it was on a weekday couldn't take vacations for years because the markets were open so what is better my whole thing with trading was to better my life for my family and my friends and myself you know and now we learn a system where we can work just an hour a day why the fuck am i still trading at zombie hour right <laughs> nail and bill sure you make less but dude it's not i learned this valuable thing guys it's not how much you make it's how much you make in the little time as possible doing it with as little stress and risk as possible. If you're making a shitload of money, but you're always stressed out all the time, that's not a fucking good life, man. We don't need much money to live. We just need enough money to live. Like, I'm telling you, supplement your income, $200 a day, $100 a day extra. It's life changing. You can buy crab legs every day if you like. Crab legs are 40 bucks a pound, wherever it may be, right? You can buy two pounds of crab legs every day. Or one pound of Wagyu steak every day. That's life-changing to me. You know, if, you're, if your goal is life-changing is to get a Lamborghini, you got some serious issues, dude. Because the moment you get a Lamborghini, you're going to go, oh shit, I had the, the poor man model of Lamborghini. Now I need the fucking Aventador. You know, it will never happen. You will never be happy. So... I'm going to leave it like this, guys. I'm going to bring someone out after this. But you have to equate happiness to the real life. And by doing that, your trading will become better. Then you'll be comfortable with like, okay, I'm up $200 today. I made 200 bucks in an hour. That's fucking good. Some people make 200 bucks a day working hard labor. You know? So be appreciative of what you have. And, once you, and, and if you can make $100 a day consistently... You can't make a thousand a day, but you cannot make a thousand dollars a day if you cannot make a hundred dollars a day consistently. So start with the small and level up properly, guys. Let me, uh, actually, Joe, you want to get on? Oh, he blocked me. I want to bring Joe on. No, I don't think anybody's seen Joe. Oh, Vic. Hey, why, why can't I bring Vic on? That's blocked. I want to bring someone that we never brought on. Someone raise your hand. Let me see. Larissa. There you go. We have a lot more females in MIC, which is awesome. I love it. Waiting for Larissa. I think she's in MIC. I'm not sure. Because summer's coming up, guys. You're going to be confronted with these slow days all the time. Sometimes you walk, be happy with your $200 that you made. Completely fine. Actually, Tay, <laughs> I don't think we ever brought Tay on. Tay was our very first female moderator. I don't know if she can come on. Maybe she's going to see if she, oh, nope. Michael, okay. I will go live with Michael, NYC. I think we have a 
We haven't talked before, so that'd be good. What's going on, guys? What's up, Bal? You you Midtown, right? That's Midtown. <laughs> okay. How What's, you doing, man? You dude, around? loving it, man. Loving it. You know, I'm doing I'm exactly what you're preaching. Just take some time away, you know, because it's about process. And I've been a part of MIC for, what, maybe a month and a half. And um, it's it changed my world, literally. How I just think about trading – and then it's all a process about yourself in, in terms of mindset and just keeping yourself at key, keeping yourself level, keeping yourself honed in, not going, you know, just, just no FOMO. Whenever you feel that type of FOMO, you know, chill, chill out, walk away, go for a walk, you know, wh whatever you need to do. But uh, process and time and, you know, communities is uh, basically what, you know, I've gotten from this thing, and it's 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 awesome. If if you know if uh, you haven't tried it, you should. Were well, you working out right now? Working out? No, I'm just uh, making some guacamole. <laughs> That's good life. You're, you're you're home in New York. No, well, uh, I I came out with my girlfriend and like her kids up to Rhinebeck, New York. A little, it's like a little up, you know, it's like an hour away from me. We go up to the waterfall, so we got an Airbnb uh, for a week. You know, eighteen sixty eight. You know, this freaking house is built in early 1800s. You know, it's just you know, just a little getaway. Wow. So it's cool. No, but, but yeah, man, no, um, you guys are awesome. Go ahead. Sometimes you need to take a break. That's what we said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes so like today, I traded. You know what you're doing now, right? I'm walking around, taking yep. a break. And... It's awesome. Uh, yeah. So like today, so, so, so I, 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 uh, I, uh, you know, I, I did one trade today, just one. Um, I made $111, and I said to myself, because I was watching you actually, right? Because you're like, this is it, I'm walking away, and I'm like, Bao is almost like he just does this all the time in his sleep, so if he's walking away, I, you know, what am I doing? Still, still plug and clicking numbers and stuff, so I just walked away, I'm up, um, it's easy, stress-free, another MIC hey, thing, stress-free. That, that pays half of your Airbnb night. <laughs> yeah, that work. pays for like 20 minutes of the Airbnb. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you're so saying that, but that, you're, just, you're just getting started. That's the beauty. Yeah. You're just getting started. Yeah, man. Yeah, so I, I love I'm it. I'm very happy yeah. for you, dude. I'm very glad for you, man. Keep keep it up. Because you know what? I'm going to get a big prop to Michael because when he joined, he was like, I'm all in. He's, he's active in the community. You're posting stuff. You're asking questions. You're you're showing up. You're helping members. And that's, that's, and I didn't think that you were only in for a month, bro. I thought you were in for like a six months. But because you're so active. Yeah, you man. Got, and, and you've done remarkable, bro, in a month and a half. I'll give you that, man. I'll give you Thanks, bad bro. props. Thanks, man. You know? it, it means a lot. It means a lot coming from you. You know, you're a freaking god to this, you know, in this business. So, you know. Buddha? Like my guy, my Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> the God is Buddha. Too. Sorry, yeah, whatever. Same thing, you know. <laughs> I know. The, the God of Buddha. <laughs> hey, man. Have but but, uh, there, but seriously, thanks so much. All right? All right, man. Thanks for picking up, man. I'll, I'll see you in chat. All right, brother. Bye. All right, because I want to bring Lar Larissa up. I think she just joined. Let me see. Let, let me try that again, Larissa. Where are you at? Because females have been kicking butt at MIC. You guys are so disciplined and hardworking. And don't have the egos that us idiotic men have. Hey, how you doing? Hey! <laughs> oh my hey. god, so happy to see you. Are, you're the same one in MIC, right? The loser? Yes, yes, I'm the one. <laughs> what, what's your I'm name so... again in MIC? So everybody know. Uh, my name is Larissa, the same in MIC. <laughs> That's what I thought, I saw that. So how are things going? Tell us, tell us your progress and how, when you join and tell everybody what's going on. Um, I joined a month ago, in the middle of April, I think. I love it. I started really small, so I'm trading just like 50, 100 shares at a time. That's right. That's to learn. That's exactly right. Yeah, so I'm just trying to do like $50 a day, like you said, $100 a day. Nothing crazy. And uh, I just wanted live? to... Where do you live? I live in, in Toronto, Canada. 
Ah, Garacho. Uh, okay, because I'm trying to figure yes. out the accent. <laughs> the, the oh, uh, I'm, accent. U- I'm Ukrainian, by the oh, way. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah. tell everybody how you found this and what are you, what is your step right now? Because it seems like you you got down the process of education and learning. So I, I wanted you to tell everybody because females, in my opinion, this is what you guys excel on. You guys don't take shortcuts. You don't, you know, you know what I'm saying? You're 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 doing what you need to do. <laughs> so I love it. Uh, well, I'm not as good as Faye. I'm so far from it. I'm, I'm very stubborn. So I used to find myself fighting this talk, like fighting to death, uh, usually my death. Uh, <laughs> but now I'm just trying to do the stop losses. I use them. Um, uh, Joe, how do you explain the range orders? So I oh, put my target, target and stop loss at the same time. And then I just walk away or I just like move my chair away so I don't mess with it. So what's your, yeah. uh, what, what, what was your educational process? Did you watch the videos first? You got a tab? Tell, tell everybody how you started to learn. Well, I started trading a few years ago. And um, I blew up a couple accounts, of course. <laughs> um, but then I was following Alex for like ever since uh, his uh, dries trade long okay. time ago. <laughs> uh, so I was following all of his videos. I watched all of the U- uh, like YouTube videos. And um, when you get, like, if I ever decide to join any group, it's gonna be MAC. <laughs> because I kind of like, I hated all the chat rooms because I thought it's just, uh, but like problem. MAC is totally different. Have you have you gone through the Joe Kelly? So which videos did you enjoy? Like which ones did you watch that is helpful? I watch. Uh, I watched all of the trading basics of Joe, and I watch all of the Aloha's webinars. I just uh, love Aloha. <laughs> Austin, thank awesome. you very much. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, he's the best, and Joe is the best explaining everything. I actually, I even started learning about options now. I never thought I would like it. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much, Joe and Austin and all the mods and Tom and everybody. Just like such a great help. It's unbelievable. Like I haven't I had a red day yet. You, well, you haven't had a red day yet? No. Whoa, like I have <laughs> small, small profits, but like my uh, kind of almost red day was like I made five bucks <laughs> on a day. <laughs> Uh, you know what, man? There, there are days I wish I just, I, I just wish I made five dollars. I made zero dollars, so that's good. So in the beginning, this you did exactly right. Your job is to learn, to become comfortable, to become consistent, because you can always size up whenever you want. So this is the perfect way to do it. Learn yeah, the good habits first. <laughs> no, just when I you know try to get the process done and like be disciplined and actually stop out every time I plan to stop out. That that is awesome. So I mean that even small, I'm telling you, even small size adds up. When you don't take big losses, it adds up after a week really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying. I try to learn to recycle shares like you do, and I really suck at it yet. <laughs> because I don't know why. Every time I try to recycle, then I just like it covers so fast, like after ten cents, and then of course it drops like another thirty cents. Who is your tab? Um, I have a Lisa girl. Okay, girl power. You girls are kicking blood. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> All the guys are like, I want to be part of your tab now. So it's amazing. Sure, yeah, send me an email. <laughs> send me a message. <laughs> Let's very talk. awesome. So today is uh, the webinar, and tomorrow is your favorite Loa's webinar tomorrow. So I know. I do, I don't book anything for Tuesday and Thursday. No dates, nothing. I just like these are my dates with Joe and Aloha. <laughs> yeah, big fans of Joe. Joe and Aloha. Well, yeah, thank, yeah, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, Lisa. You know, anything you need help, let us know. So now everyone knows who you are at MIC. So it's awesome. Yeah, I'm very happy to be part of the family. It's so awesome. Like, MSC is not just the chat room, and it's real family for sure. Like, everybody's so helpful. Nobody's being like prideful and like, oh, like, you know, everybody's very supportive. It's very important. Like, 
real, real community. Thank you very much, Bob, for creating it. Th th thank you for being part of it. You you are the reason why MIC is awesome. It's people like yeah, yourself. I love, I, love I love it. I love it. Thank you very much. We'll yeah, see you back in the you. room. Yeah, thank you. Good seeing you. Bye. Oh, that, that was awesome. I want to bring Alex on and we'll, we'll end it here. Dude, that was so awesome. The first time I saw her, I was like, I recognize his name. <laughs> the females at MIC are just amazing. No red days. You missed me already? Bro, what are we doing wrong? She had no red days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. These women are really good, man, because they trade without an ego, right? Men are always trying to be macho and showing off and trading with their balls, but women are actually being precise. They're using the process that is out there, and it's fucking awesome to see, man. Dude, her biggest love, she says her, her closest was a $5 day. I mean, how, many <laughs> days, how many times do you wish we just had zero, right? So, Bro, it's like you said, how many awesome. times do I wish the internet cut out or that, you know, something, I was, fell asleep, I slept <clears> in, I took too many edibles, you know? Dude, crazy, bro. So, okay, I'm going to, do you want to talk about that? Or we can wait for um, Tosh, because this is, uh, what, I want you to talk about it. Because, yeah, uh, I think we, we should just wait. Yeah, I can talk a little bit about the uh, yeah. thing, but I think the best way is just to wait till Tasha's webinar, guys, because every single week on Wednesday at 2 p.m., we have this webinar for new traders, new members, walking you through MIC, walking you through the room, all the features, all the perks, uh, and then we open it up to Q&A at the end, too. So, I mean, if oh, you want, yep. Bob, if you, you want to, what? Let me show you. Give me a sec. Wait. Sorry. This G R N Q. Zombie the fuck up. G N R Q. Oh shoot. G R N Q. Woo! It was one seventeen. Well, uh, it was one seventy, and now it's at two forty. Zombie times. Woo! Woo Crazy okay. shit, man. Oh my god. Good thing I left because I yeah, probably would have touched it. It's I, the I, same I, thing I, every day, man. Zombie times, zombie rules, especially on slow days, man. Oh man, slow days are the most dangerous. So. So, so tell everybody, okay, so what are we going to do? We're, we're going to actually launch it then at Tosh's thing. So anybody that wants to know about the accelerator, come to the, uh, so, so show people how to do it. Because there's a lot of new people that don't know how to get into the webinar. And yeah, so there's two ways to get into the webinar. Number one is by going to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash my investing club at 2 p.m. And the other way is either following me, Baotash, on Instagram or Twitter, we tweet out the Zoom link as well. So we have a Zoom webinar and a YouTube webinar going on at the same time. Whatever platform is more convenient for you, you could use it. Uh, it's every Wednesday at <coughs> p.m. We will share the link to get the Jumpstart Accelerator during this webinar. Uh, so tune in and Again, there's a special promo going on right now. It's only going to be for one month, this promo. And, you know, Tosh will talk about that during the webinar. Correct. And I think they should go to the, the YouTube because then they can interact with us, type questions on the YouTube. Correct. And Joe is going to be there on the YouTube channel answering questions as well. So if you have any questions and you're not in MIC, you can go to the YouTube channel and ask it in, uh, in the, um, the question bar. And then you take from there. My gosh, zombies are real. Zombies are real, my friend. And it's every day, man. It's every day. We have another example to prove it to us. Every single day. It's you either learn from it and learn to avoid it or lose by it and then avoid it. That's why every day, man, every day I walk away. While you were walking around, I was driving around. You know, I'm doing what I have to do based on my process to walk away because I am addicted as well if i stay in front of the computer i will find the trade but if i walk away <laughs> i enjoy it more at 4 p.m feeling grateful that i didn't gamble away my games that i didn't piss away my games because like you said man we are green knock on wood almost every day it is only us that is the problem when we deviate we fucking lose correct because the process works Strategies work. We, we we are the fuck up. Yeah, we are the problem. And, and I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna hang up on this. I always say this, guys. It's either you win 